This is a patient who came with hematuria, and so we did our standard hematuria protocol, which is a non-contrast CT study of the abdomen and pelvis, followed by a nephrographic phase through the abdomen, and then an excretory delayed phase at around 8 to 10 minutes post-contrast uh, through the abdomen and pelvis. As you look at the non-contrast study, what you realize that this is going to be a challenging case to interpret, primarily because there's a lot of artifact from spinal hardware over here. And so despite that, when we look at it, we don't see any stones within the renal collecting systems, ureters, or bladder. We don't see any obvious masses on the non-contrast CT. When we look at the nephrographic face, again, there's artifact, but again, no real masses of concern that we can uh, pick up within the kidneys. And then the excretory phase also becomes challenging because of this artifact. Of course, we're going to have to look at it with the appropriate windows to make sure we can almost see through the contrast. And when we start to do that, we'll start to notice that in the left kidney, there's a little tiny fill and defect right there. And the more you look, the more you start to find more fill and defects, a subtle one right over there, another one right over there, and then a few larger ones, uh, relatively larger ones, that protrude into the renal collecting system. And so there's a handful of these fill and defects that we can pick up despite the fact that there's artifact. Now, certainly in the context of hematuria, these are concerning for urothelial neoplasm. A few other benign things they could potentially be. Uh, this patient ended up getting cystoscopy and uteroscopy. This was sampled, and this turned out to be uh, urothelial neoplasm.